Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Auntie Tay. If you guys are new here, that's who I am. If you're not, welcome back. I've missed you. I am going to be making some mugs today. Using our sublimation designs from my membership. Six mugs and my Cricut mug press went completely kerplutz when I attempted to do a tumbler in it that was not a Cricut brand tumbler. And I have yet to be able to get it to um, work again. So I am using my five in one that I no longer use because I've got the Rakoma heat press, but I will use it now for the mug press. So it's all working out. Um, but we are in a completely different spot. I am right by the front door of my studio because I'm going to open that up and make these mugs right next to a well ventilated area. I asked you guys in a live how long to do it and somebody was adamant for 400 degrees i'm doing it for four minutes this is a full sheet that i did on my 15,000 that i will um also put this like mug sample sheet on the website otherwise these are all um svgs that i uploaded into canva and just laid them out and printed them so if you didn't know you can upload our pngs and our svgs to canva and you can change the colors I have a video on that if you need to see that. Okay, let's make some mugs. The one thing I will say about the five in one though is it heats up so fast. I just turned this on and it's already at 400 degrees. Could be because it's just a mug press, but it heats up really, really fast. A lot faster than the Cricut mug press did. But I really wanted my Cricut mug press to keep working because it's so simple. And here we are discovering the exact way to do it again. But once we have the temperature and the time down, the pressure is a little hard. I have it set at one, two, three, four, five threads, five threads coming out. So let's make some mugs. Alrighty, you guys ready to see the final mugs that we made? I love some of them. I like some of them. Okay, so here's the Peter Pan one. On this side it says Never Grow Up, and on this side it says Hooks Crew, so super cute. Marie, Girl Power, and then the Marie. This one's really popular to do on mugs and a bunch of different things, but blinging this, super cute too. Gotta do that. Um, I did this one, but it turned out a little off center, so I still love it, but I already have this mug. I already had made this one, so I kind of screwed that one up. But here is the showstopper. These. I'm obsessed with these. So, Jim Deer and Darling. Okay, so these are from our couples Disney-inspired SVGs, but I turned them into sublimation with Canva. So, I'll put the link in the description to that video. But... Um, I literally just imported our SVGs into Canva and made them tiny tiny and printed a bunch for different mugs But this is this is the part that I love the mostest. They are eating spaghetti together This is so cute. So if you have someone getting married who loves Disney um, This would be a cute one to give to them be like a gift card to a spaghetti to the spaghetti factory or something cute and then put these in there that would be so cute i'm all about theme gifting so you know i'm gonna be giving these to somebody because we have so many mugs there you have it those are the mugs we made today with our membership um all of those designs that you just saw are available to the members in sublimation and a bunch of the all of those i think are svgs as well for the cricut or silhouette or whatever you use i love you guys i'll see you guys in my next video